Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us today for our class. My name is Anissa and I'm a registered kinesiologist with Physio Mobility, and we have Sabrina with us here today, our student exercise therapist. Before we start our class, I just want to go over some safety precautions. If you have any balance or dizziness issues, make sure that you have some sort of support around you, whether that be a table, a chair, or something to hold on to, or someone else for support that you can hold on to while doing these exercises. Also, another safety precaution, just make sure that you have enough space to move around you without hitting any objects or another person if they are joining you for this class. So if you do have something around you, just make sure to please move it right now. All right, also another thing, we just wanna make sure that you're working within your pain tolerance. So if you're feeling any sharp pain or extreme discomfort, please stop immediately and remember to take breaks and rest as needed. Also, make sure you have a water around since we will be taking breaks so you can have a sip of water in between the exercises. Great, now with that being said, let's get started with today's class. So for the first mobility exercise today, we are gonna be starting with the neck. So what you're going to do is you're gonna put your hands behind the back of your head. You're gonna be opening chin up towards the ceiling, elbows up, and nice and slow, tucking the chin back in, elbows down towards the ground, good. If you're having trouble reaching overhead, what you can do is cross your arms over your chest here, driving the elbows up towards the ceiling. And same thing here, bringing that chin down in towards the chest. Okay, relax. And let's go from here, bringing chin up. Good, nice and slow, back down, chin in. And again, up, chin up towards the ceiling. Good, relax, chin back in, elbows pointing down towards the floor. Good, three more times, back up. And relax back down. Good, make sure you're taking deep breaths. Looking up. Good, and relax back down. Last one here. And nice and slow. Back up, chin up towards the ceiling, elbows up, and relax, back in. And good. Okay, now for our second mobility exercise, we're still gonna be working the neck, looking towards the side. So you're gonna angle your chin toward over your right shoulder, grabbing your hand behind the head, and then pulling your chin down and towards the chest. So you wanna feel stretched along the back side of your neck here. Good and relax back up. We're gonna do a few more times to side, staying up, and relax, chin back in. Good, and back up. Nice and slow, take deep breaths, but tuck the chin back in. Good, up again. Two more times, relax back in. Good, back up, and last one, make sure you're dropping that other shoulder, back down, and up, perfect, okay, relax, we're now gonna be working on the left side, so looking over the left shoulder, grabbing behind the head, here we're gonna be tucking the chin, nice and slow, down and towards the chest, drop that right shoulder, and bring it back up, good, deep breath in and out, Nice and slow, tucking the chin in. Good, feel that stretch, relax back up. And again, good, back down. Chin in towards the chest, good. Back up, last two. Breathe, nice and slow, hold that stretch. Good, back up, and last one. Breathe. and back up and back to center. Okay, for the next mobility exercise, we're gonna be more working more of thoracic region, so working more into the ribs and the side of the body. So we're gonna start with our right hand on our hip. We're gonna be reaching over to the side here. If you're standing up with me, knees are slightly bent. Good, reaching through right to the fingertips. From here, you can actually stretch your arm back as much as you can, and a little bit to the forward. Reaching and good back to center perfect and now let's do the same thing on the other side left hand on the hip reaching right hand over the body over through to the fingertips here stretching back slightly 
Good. Stretching forward and back to center. Good. Again, to the right side. Reaching over the body. Take your time. Nice deep breaths. Good. Reaching back and reaching forward and back to center. Good. And again, other side. Reaching over. Nice and slow. Reaching back. Reaching forward and back to center. Good. We're going to do that one more time here. Okay. Nice and slow. Reaching up through to the fingertips. Good. Nice and slow back. Easy and gentle going forward. Good. Back to center. And again, reaching over. Reaching to the back. And reaching forward. Good. And relax. For the next exercise, we're going to be doing forward bends. So for this one, if you're with Sabrina, she's sitting closer to the edge, feet wide apart. Standing up with me, feet are also wide apart, knees slightly bent. Here, starting at sitting up nice and tall, we're going to tuck the chin in nice and slowly, hunch the back, reach down, reach down your legs towards the ground, hold, let everything relax. Good, and walk your way back up nice and slowly, sitting up nice and tall. And again, deep breath in and out. Good, reaching down nice and slow, reach towards the middle, feel everything relax, head down. Good, nice and slow, coming back up. Good, and again, deep breath in. Relax, nice and slow back down. Deep breath in, good. As you slowly work your way back up, nice and slow. Your head should be the last thing to come up. Good, and again, tucking the chin in. Hunch your back nice and slow down. Really relax your body, make sure that back's nice and hunched. Knees are bent. Good, nice and slow back up. And let's do it one more time. And deep breath in and out. As you relax back down, let the head relax, let your body relax, take deep breaths here. Hold, good, nice and slow and come back up. Perfect, okay. For the next one, it's gonna be similar to the one that we just did, except we're gonna be reaching side to side. So first, you're gonna slowly tuck the chin in, reaching down first. Good, as we did before, nice and slow. Then we're gonna reach over to the right side. Good, walking your hands over. Good, feel a stretch along the side of your back here. Good, and nice and slow, reaching over to the other side. Good, back to center, and slowly back up. Good, and again, we're gonna nice and slowly reaching down. Good, relax into that stretch. Make sure you're taking your deep breaths here. Reaching over to the right side. Hold, take nice deep breaths. Good, reaching over to the left side and hold, nice deep breaths. Good, back to center, and slowly relax back up. Good, we're gonna do that one more time, okay? Reaching down. Good, relax in the center and hold. Reaching over to the right side, good. Feel that stretch in the side of the back, hold. Good, reaching over to the left side. Feeling the stretch in the back and hold. Good, back to the middle, take a deep breath here, relax your body. And nice and slow, walk your way back up. Perfect. Next one, so we're gonna be doing a hamstring stretch. So here, you're gonna have your right foot out in front of you completely straight, toes pointed up towards the ceiling. Your left leg is bent, sitting up nice and tall. You're gonna push the hips back. 
Leaning forward, keeping your back nice and straight. Good, and then sitting up nice and tall. And again, relaxing, pushing those hips back. Good, feel the stretch behind the knee. And sitting up nice and tall again. Pushing hips back, back straight. Toes pointed up towards the ceiling. Back up, let's do it two more times and again. Hips back, make sure you're taking those deep breaths, really feeling that stretch along behind here. And back up, last time here. And hips back. Deep breath and coming back up. Good, let's switch over to the left side. Left leg in front, completely straight, toe point up towards the ceiling. Let's start pushing the hips back, keeping that back nice and straight. Good, and sitting up nice and tall. And again, pushing the hips back. Keeping that leg straight, keeping the toe pointed up towards the ceiling. Straight back up. Good, again, deep breaths here. Relax into the stretch. Good, push it a little bit further. And back up. And go again. Perfect, making sure you're taking deep breaths. Pace yourself, good, back up, and let's do it one more time. Relaxing back, and push back up, perfect. Okay, for our last exercise, we're gonna be working on more ankle mobility. So for this one, we're gonna start with our right foot. You're gonna be curling your toe under like this, so knee pointing forward, toe under, and you're gonna push through your ankle. Pushing your ankle forward as much as you can, feeling a nice stretch here, and relax back, stick with the same side, and again, curl under, pushing that ankle forward, feel a nice stretch, and relax back down. Let's do it three more times, and again, curl under, pushing the ankle forward. Good, relax down, two more here. Good, really hold it, feel that stretch. Good, relax back in and one more time. Curl under and push forward. And good, let's switch to the left side, same thing. Curl the toes under, pushing that ankle forward. Good, relax into that stretch. And come back and again, curl under. Good, take deep breaths, hold it there. Good, keep pushing the ankle forward and then relax. Good, three more times. Again, pushing, curling under, pushing that ankle forward. And relax, last two. Here we go, good. Crossing under, pushing forward. Relax, and last one here. Good, curl under, ankle forward, hold, deep breath and relax down. Perfect. Thank you guys so much for joining us again today. We really appreciate your support. If you would like to repeat that routine one more time, if you want a little bit of an additional stretch, please feel free to do so at your own pace and remember to take your time, take deep breaths and have water ready next to you. Just a reminder, you can book a free consult with any of our therapists. You can do so through contacting us at 416-444-4800 or you can email us at contact at physiomobility.ca. Great, thank you. See you guys next time.